everybody asks me, when is the best time to buy? The best time to buy is five years ago. The sooner you can get to five years ago is when you need to buy. Oh, but Glenda, the market is high. Do you know what? There isn't any house that I've sold in the last 30, 30 years that is not worth more today than it was for the day that I sold it. As long as you don't put yourself in a position to have to sell, that house will always be worth more when you want to sell it because you'll sell it at the height of the market. Do not let prices stop you from buying a house. I'm totally serious. I showed a house today, three bedrooms, two baths. If my clients do not buy that house, I've already spoken with my lender. I will buy that house today. I'm, do you think I care that it, it, is it, is it overpriced? Probably maybe 25, it's a $500,000 house, maybe 25 to maybe even $50,000. Um, but would I buy it all day, every day? And so if you want to get into investing, buy the worst house in the best neighborhood, buy a house. I'm, I do not like to buy an HOAs. I never buy in an HOA because I don't want anybody to be able to dictate what I can do with my property. Um, and I encourage, do not say, oh, I have to buy a $500,000 house. The first house that I ever bought was by myself was $72,000. I did $55,000 worth of work and I sold it for $295,000. Okay. I wish I had held on every house I ever bought because what most investors don't understand is that you're saying, oh, well, you 72, 55, let's just say I had 125 and it's easy math. You sold it for 295, praise the Lord and pass the money. But the value over that $125,000 investment over my lifetime far exceeded the $150,000 that I made like that. Because had I held that property and rented it out, that property over my life is worth $2 million. So I am very much buy and hold. If you need to buy and sell to get capital to buy and hold, then do that. But buy the absolute worst house that you can find in the best neighborhood for the least amount of money, put some sweat equity in it. My favorite is grandma's house for the original homeowner because grandma may be living there with shag carpet and flocked wallpaper, but she isn't living there without an air conditioner, without electrical, without plumbing, without a roof. Grandma always takes care of the infrastructure. So that is my best advice for somebody who wants to invest in real estate. 